So it's a brand new year. Time for change and new and exciting projects. And one thing I'd like to change this year is how much I post on YouTube. I really love sharing my projects with you here and you seem to enjoy them too. So today I'm diving back into the world of 3D printing to share with you the process behind the creation of my latest 3D printed character. As a quick disclaimer, I am not a professional painter or 3D printer by any means, this is purely a hobby for me. But nonetheless, I hope you learn something new and get inspired to create something of your own. Now sit back, relax and let's get to work. From there, it's over to Chitterbox for slicing. And many of you told me off last time for not hollowing out my pieces and saving a lot of resin. So what I tend to do now is to use automatic lightweight supports with a raft shape of skate. And then I tend to hollow out the larger pieces before adding holes in hidden areas to clean out the inside. And with that, this model should now be ready to be sent to my 3D printer for printing. <laughs> it's over to 3D printing and I can probably sit back and not talk so much and just let the video work for itself. But before we do, I just wanted to give a quick thank you once again to Elegoo who have always been incredibly supportive of my 3D printing journey. My entire 3D printing setup is now completely filled with Elegoo and today I'm going to be printing on the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. This printer is amazing and I think the quality of the prints really speaks for itself. <laughs> part I tend to use water washable resin for ease but Elego recently sent me out a whole bunch of rapid standard resin so I figured I might as well use it. Now it's time to get this into the curing station ready for some sanding. 